Bad mini, bad mini bitches. Bad mini, bad mini bitches. <laughs> no negativity. Rest in peace, negativity. Mm. Sun Mon and hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, South African blogger and podcaster Omosa Kaula's murder trial is still ongoing. Now, Omosa Kaula killed his boyfriend earlier last year, March 2022, but later claimed it was self defense. Now, March 2023, this year, the Jobek High Court, Mosa was ordered to pay a sum of 500,000 rands to Dumani Kuzwaya for defamation of character after Mosa claimed or accused Dumani of being amongst the boys pimped to old gizzards for sex in exchange for money. Now, Judge Jordan said, and I quote, having read the documents filed off record, heard the evidence and submissions by counsel, and having considered the matter, the following order is made. It is ordered that the respondent pay the sum of 500,000 rands to the applicant interest on the aforesaid sum of 500,000 rands at the rate of 9.75%. Now, he was also ordered to issue a public apology and unconditional restriction in writing and published on the respondent's various social media platforms. Now, while Musa was making these claims, he also claimed that Udumani was going to get eight very quickly because nobody wants to use rubber ever that's a given. Now, Udumani then said with those remarks, Kaula implied that he was HIV positive and therefore the allegations which were seen and reached tweeted by some of Kaula's 183,000 followers where defamatory heard for and intended to deliberately humiliate him and undermine his reputation. Now, on the other news, Terry Peto has been implicated in yet another lottery scandal. Now, Terry, together with former National Lottery COO, Ophiel, his wife and others allegedly paid money meant for youth development in their business accounts. The actress allegedly spent the money on her lavish lifestyle of appearing as a successful actress. Now, Terry is one of the local celebrities who were fingered in the National Lottery Commission, NLC fraud. Guaido legend Arthur Mofogadi TV personality Ukero and Zodzi star Upresli were fingered as some of the people who benefited illegally from the NLC. Now, according to the group up, Terry illegally received a 1 million rands from the money men to host a youth award ceremony. The money, which was from a 10 million rands grant, was paid to Sumuti Projects, of which Uteri is the director, is the sole director. The 10 million rands grant was paid to a non-profit company, which had nothing to do with the youth award event. Now, the event was instead funded by the National Youth Development Agency. NYDA never happened and money was from a 10 million rands ground, paid to a non-profit company to host a youth award ceremony and did not spend a cent on the event. Oteri also received millions from the recipient of an unrelated grant to help build her 4 million rands luxury home in Bryanston, Johannesburg. The house, which was paid for in cash, was frozen and put on auction, but failed to attract any buyers when it came up for auction earlier this month. Now, musician Tugazani Elvovo Terangon Jovo says his friends and family have been supportive through this tough time. He's recovering well after suffering from a stroke during the festive season. Singer Tugazani Elvovo Terango, who's 42, suffered a stroke after a performance that led to him being hospitalized. Now, this comes after he was involved in a horrific accident that almost took his life. Now, Elvovo told the Moja publication that he is grateful for his family and friends who have been supportive through this tough time. He said, and I quote, it has been very tough for me. I have not been able to walk. My leg was affected by the stroke and my hand was affected. My friends have been very supportive and driving me around, taking me for my checkups. This weekend, they hosted a bride at my home and there was a thanksgiving. Now, he continued to say things have been really tough. He had to move back to his family home. I have been going through a lot. I couldn't stay home alone at my place. I needed to be home to get assistance. 
I was immobile. It's been a rough few months for me. My leg could not walk. I wasn't able to do many of the things that I was used to. The stroke also affected movement. I could not perform and make money. I will always be thankful to God and my ancestors for keeping me alive. I thank everyone who supported me, friends, family, and everyone. I'm currently back in the studio working on my EP. I will be releasing this. Yeah. Now that you have it, Mzansi, do let me know guys what you think in the comment section down below.